What's good, BitRushers? My name is Kyler, and this is BitRush Crypto. In today's video, I'm super excited to announce the next biggest game to be released on the blockchain, Crypto Pumpkins. Okay, so it may not be the biggest game ever released on the blockchain, but it's my channel and it's my project. So if I say it's going to be that big, I want it to be that big. All right, guys, all joking aside, though, I am super pumped up today to um, go over this project with you, release some of the details, give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. You can see here of my background screen, some of the traits and attributes that we haven't really released yet are being hinted. And I'm going to tell you everything about the game and the NFT. So if you guys are interested in getting that early access and information on this project, do stick around. Make sure you click that thumbs up button if you're not already. Sub to the channel for more great crypto, DeFi, and NFT content. You can find links in the description below for everything we talk about and everything related to my channel. And here we go. Okay guys, let's navigate over to CryptoPunkins.com, that is P-U-N-K-I-N-S, so it's Punkins.com, and we just have our, uh, you know, holder page, the coming soon up here, and it says, uh, Punkins are coming this October, 666 Crypto Punkins will rise from the blockchain. And I have all my information here. You guys can join up the Discord and the Twitter. And we have all the uh, associated hashtags if you guys want to drop those in the tweet. And that's basically it right now. But the real website will be up hopefully by next week with all the information. But I'm going to go over a lot of it today. So if you guys are going to watch today's video, you'll get all that info anyway. So the first thing we can see here is we have our mascot here. Um, he's got the pink mohawk, the pirate patch, he's got the evil eyes, and the wolf teeth. So those are all traits that we revealed with this mascot guy. Um, he's really cool looking, I like him, and I'm excited to have him lead the pumpkin army on the blockchain. And at this point you guys are probably thinking, so what is a pumpkin? So if you guys are familiar with NFTs, the Crypto Punks are the original NFT that kind of took over the blockchain and um, you know the NFT space with Ethereum. Um, originally launched and now they're one of the biggest projects, so they all look like punk rockers in 2D. So we kind of took that and adapted it with the punk theme and we made it even crazier, obviously, because we're doing pumpkins and it's Halloween theme. So not only do we have punk rock uh, traits, but also a bunch of cool different, um, you know, Halloween and just different pop culture related things that you'll see in, you know, not necessarily every um, NFT project, but a lot of um, NFT projects have some of the similar traits, like we can see here in the background with the 3D glasses, right? So obviously we have some 3D glasses and some traits like that, guys, uh, but mainly a lot of Halloween traits and mainly like a lot of like punk looking guys. So um, these are the pumpkins play on the word punk so it's a punk and then it's a pumpkin punk so pumpkin head punks guys um, and you're probably wondering so what else other than that you said it's a game that's right guys we're building a um, pumpkin launcher game basically think like um, angry bird style we're going to do like a distance launcher and then a few levels and you're going to be able to use your nft in game in each NFT, in addition to having like the unique characteristics that give it its cool looks, are also going to have three other sets of um, basically stats that are generated at mint. And they'll be generated randomly, so there's no like gaming the mint to know which ones are best. So this is kind of the coolest part, is that even if you get like the coolest or rarest looking NFT, he may not have the best stats in the game. And it could possibly be like the worst, least rare NFT that has the best stats in the game. So just keep things interesting on the resale market, guys. Um, they'll have two values. It'll be obviously the value of the traits and how rare that it looks and people that want to keep them as, you know, collector 
items and profile pictures and things like that will go for the super rare um, cool looking traits and then we'll have the gamers the people that are going to play the game and want to get the high scores on the blockchain and have their name you know listed at the top of the leaderboard and those people will be wanting to buy the better pumpkins that have the better stats okay um, so that's all i'm going to reveal on the game right now it is in development and after launch obviously we're going to continue to develop it and make it better and better so that's part of the roadmap is that um, you know after launch we're gonna put a little bit more money in there and hopefully build it out to make it just a super cool community and we're already planning for a second season so you could see here only 666 pumpkins will rise this season and then hopefully we're gonna build it out all the way out to um, you know next uh, October to 2022 where we'll add a zero to that number and it'll be 6,660 pumpkins for season two okay so um, the first thing you guys want to do if you want to be involved in this project is come on over to our Twitter channel and make sure you guys follow this. We're doing a giveaway right now on here and I probably should have that pinned, but basically we're giving away a farmer's market verse, this like hunter girl. She looks really cool. She's got diamond earrings. She got the hunter hat. Um, she got like, looks like the Carhartt vest. So definitely looks like she's going out hunting here. Um, we're going to be dropping that this Friday. So if you guys are seeing this video, go ahead, get on here. Um, give it a like. That's the retweet version. Let's see the original one. We got, looks like 59 likes and 55 retweets. So you do have to retweet it, guys. So make sure you like it, retweet it, follow the channel, tag a few homies, and you're good to go on this drop. Um, we're going to be doing that to try to grow the channel. And while you're also over here, go ahead and follow mine. Mine's at D5Brains if you guys just want to keep up with me and my channel as well. So do that over there on Twitter. And then again, guys, over here on the website, it is just a, a template, like, or not even a template. I built this in HTML, uh, basic like holder, placeholder um, website. The real website will be coming soon within a week or so. So want to get this information out as soon as I can, but definitely check back for all the other stuff. Um, but just come over here and join up in the Discord. I will tell you there's going to be different um, benefits for joining the Discord early. Um, being one of the first 666 in Discord will definitely help you guys out. We're going to be doing lots of giveaways and stuff in there as well. And I'll go over a lot of that here in a minute. But yeah, just know that if you guys want to be involved in this project, you're going to want to join the Discord. You're going to get want to get on Twitter. And then... Um, there's also skull keys so we're going to pause the crypto pumpkins for a second crypto pumpkins um, and we're going to talk about skull keys so some of you who follow my channel may have recently got one of these dropped in your wallet they are on the polygon network so they're polygon matic um, nfts which is really cool because they don't cost barely anything to send there's very little gas um, polygon and matic is really building themselves out as the chain for um, games on the NFT blockchain and for that reason our game's actually going to be built on Polygon um, so you know it won't cost a lot of ETH or anything to play the game um, you know I don't want you guys spending like a hundred dollars per turn on the game so Polygon we can keep it in the sense like one cent you know to run a transaction on the blockchain I think it's even sub a penny so just very very minimum gas here guys um, but why I decided to do these was we did these keys as drops to holders of the Rush token. So if you held um, any amount of Rush token, basically I went all the way down to people who had like, I think like 32 Rush token. Those were the airdrops. So if you had got the um, Rush token airdrop, you got my Skull Key airdrop. If you held any Rush before I did that drop, you have one of these in your wallet. Next, I did a post on Twitter for my YT members only, um, for my YouTube members only. And I have a few members and I only got like two people on that. So if you guys are one of my members only on YouTube, go over to the post section and make sure you drop your Ethereum address on there and I'll get you guys one or DM me and let me know that, you know who you are or whatever. Send me a screenshot of the inside of your account showing that you're a members only and I'll double check it and I'll drop you one of these keys, okay? So these are pre-sale. If you have one of these keys, you're gonna get access to pre-sale. This is how you get listed on the pre-sale. If you guys want to buy one, I have several available for fairly cheap here. Um, you guys can pick them up. The very cheapest ones here are pretty much sold out. They were the Bear Blood Red ones, and those ones went quick, so they're a little bit pricier now, but I do have this one here still priced at sub you know, 0.001 ETH on Matic going to be dropping these keys to people in discord we're going to start dropping these keys to people 
um, on Twitter, but if you guys want to just buy one, you can do that at various rankings and levels if you have different level keys. And these are also going to give you different access to future projects as well related to um, BitRush and the crypto pumpkins and like future NFT projects. If you guys are a fan of mine, you like the stuff I do, you're probably going to want to get one of these. There'll be lots of contests and ways to earn them for free, but you are going to have to put in a little bit of work, such as today you can comment on this video with your Ethereum address and I'm going to drop probably two or three keys on today's video. So if you guys want early access pre-sale to the pumpkins and a bunch of other great stuff that we have coming make sure you guys drop a good comment and leave your ethereum address here and if you guys don't want to mess around with any of that nonsense just come over and pick one up okay so enough about the skull keys and the pre-sale early access i did want to drop that for you guys as early as possible because you guys can get in and hopefully with the rarity of these pumpkins being only 666 they will hopefully hold their value um, anyone that wants to get in the game during season one, you are going to need a um, NFT or possibly we may build it out where like you can play with the generic pumpkin, but it costs more or something like that. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but I think um, we're going to maybe just keep it exclusive that you have to have the pumpkin NFT to play the game. So if you don't have one, you're not going to be able to play the game. Okay, so if you guys join Discord, I have all this information in there, even though the website's not up. You can pretty much find everything in the FAQ or the roadmap in Discord. So I just screenshotted this real quick so you guys can see it, and we'll go through it together. So we already talked about the number of pumpkins coming. There's only going to be 666. And then it says, you know, we're going to randomly create uh, truly one-of-a-kind NFTs that can be used as in-game avatars and profile pictures. So we already talked about that. You'll own the rights to your pumpkin. You can use them however you want. You know, people use them as profile pictures. I've seen people getting them, like, printed out and framing um, NFTs. So whatever you guys want to do with your NFT, it is yours to use. And then it also gives you access in the game, as we mentioned, and you're going to be able to launch your pumpkin in-game. So really cool stuff. And then hopefully, you know, we're going to have the leaderboard. We're still building some of this stuff out for the game. Uh, but hopefully the leaderboard will have a picture of your pumpkin next to your name too. So people will be able to see what pumpkin got the highest score and all that good stuff. So really cool stuff there. And then uh, the future of this project will be decided by the Pumpkinhead community after launch. So we have several things, um, you know, kind of planned and a little bit of a storyline um, lined out but really we're going to ask for the community help in building out the rest of that and I don't want to spoil anything here to my second slide so I'm not going to talk about exactly what that is but we will be talking about that in just a second here so let's move down and we're going to go over the like roadmap of the launch so 20% sold we're going to do a 20 pumpkin giveaway so 10 pumpkins will be minted into our or 20 pumpkins will be minted into our wallet guys um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to drop 10 of them in the Discord for Discord members and we'll do those giveaways throughout the week or, you know, throughout the time that they sell out if it takes that long. Um, and then we're going to do 10 on Twitter as well to continue to build the hype of the launch. And, you know, hopefully you guys have been members for a while on Twitter so you'll be able to access that as well. At 50% sold, we're going to have a community vote on a charity donation, and we're going to give 5% of the ETH total um, away to that charity. So um, that's something that's important to me. I think, you know, when you're um, earning any sort of money to give something back, and um, especially, you know, something like this, that's going to be a really fun game and hopefully be uh, popular. You know, I think it'll be fun um, that we want to, you know, make sure we have our name as someone that's given back and, you know, donating money. Um, to a good cause so we'll let the community the pumpkin heads is what we're calling our community we're going to let the pumpkin heads and also pumpkin army people are calling it so um, the pumpkin army and pumpkin heads will vote and we'll decide what we think is the best charity we'll have people like you know put in charities and i'll vet them all make sure everything is a legit charity you know like scams or anything and then we'll vote and we'll pick and we'll drop some money um, some eth value over there to a charity um, then we're going to do like launch week prizes. So in addition to giving back to um, charity, we're going to do a bunch of cool prizes that we're going to drop on people that are holding the pumpkin. So the people that buy in early, either on pre-sale or right after mint, you'll be eligible for these. If you don't have a pumpkin, you're obviously not going to be eligible for those prizes. But we got some really cool prizes like a PS5, which is valued at about $1,000, the one with the dual controller and all that. 
And then we're going to give away an Asus gaming laptop. It's about an $1,800 value, guys, that uh, Asus uh, Zephyrus. So if you guys want to check that out, really great um, gaming laptop that they just released. We're going to drop one of those on you guys. And then the Somos Move speakers. Um, these things are valued about $400. Really great Bluetooth speakers, guys. And we're going to drop a few of these. There's going to be a few of those we're giving away. I think like two or three of those. And then a um, bunch of other gifts as well. We're going to have Amazon gift cards that we're going to be dropping to people in your wallet. And Ethereum. So who doesn't love Ethereum, right? Like, you know, all this stuff is cool. But if we give you guys the ETH, you can spend it on whatever you want. You can buy NFTs or whatever. So Ethereum's probably should be at the top as it's the best prize. But, um, you know, we're doing that as a bonus because prizes and then ETH. So here we go. All right. So moving on to my second slide here, guys, coming down when we hit 80% sold um, the crypto pumpkins will be added to rarity tools and we may also do rarity sniper discord so we're going to start working on the pumpkins comic book so this is what I was talking about earlier when I said the community is going to decide and we kind of already have like a little bit of an idea of the storyline that I want to start with but we'll let the community continue to build on and there'll be a special room in the Discord for pumpkin holders only. So if you don't hold an actual pumpkin, you won't be able to, you know, contribute to the story, guys. But um, if you do, we can actually vote on the pumpkin. So the cool thing is I'm going to come up with a couple characters. And if you guys stick around to the end, I'm going to reveal one of our other main characters other than our mascot here that we had that we're going to keep regardless if they get rendered like that. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so if you have a pumpkin, you'll be able to actually vote to get your pumpkin into the comic book and be one of the main characters in the comic book. So, um, in addition to like coming up with the story, you can add in, um, your NFT. So that's really cool. And then after we make the comic book, we're also going to be starting to work on a, um, animated series on YouTube. So that will come later. I think I have that at the end here. Um, for future plans but just to put that with it that after we make the comic book that will kind of just be like a digital comic book maybe we'll get it printed and send it out to the rarest holders or something like that um, but basically yeah we're gonna have a digital comic and then turn those same comics into a series or do like an adaption of the comic book so again let the community decide on that but a lot of great ideas there and hopefully you guys will add on to them after 100% sold, all the NFTs will be revealed or after three days. So this says 100% sold NFT art revealed. If we sell out really quick, um, we're, you know they'll be revealed right away. However, if they're not selling as fast, you know sometimes some of these projects take like a week or so to sell out, that your NFT will reveal three days or 72 hours after um, you mint it or after they're all sold out, whichever one comes quicker. And after they're all sold out, we're going to do a uh, costume contest in Discord for the scariest, funniest, and weirdest. And that's going to be a community vote. So you guys can nominate your pumpkin. And the community will vote for those three categories. And we're also going to be doing the same thing on Twitter. So you guys can win on both if you want to enter on both of those platforms with your pumpkin. So if you get something super rare, something super funny, something super scary, um, the community is going to vote on who wins those prizes for those costume contests and then the pumpkin launcher game is released so this is what everyone's waiting on we're not going to release it until they're all um, sold so you know if that takes a week or two we'll you know we'll do that hopefully it will be not that long though guys i anticipate with a low mint number and a decent amount of hype on this thing i think we'll get that we should hopefully sell out quick and we'll have that game right away start playing our uh, pumpkin launcher game right out the gate then come trick or treat on Halloween. So October 31st, this is really like the big highlight of the drop in the project. Um, obviously the game's really cool. Animated series, comic books, cool. Um, you know, all kinds of prize drops are cool, but this is going to be the best thing that we're doing. So um, on October 31st, we're going to drop the 20% of the Ethereum that we've raised back to the top 20% rarity pumpkins. Okay. So if you're holding, on Halloween, one of the top 20% rarest pumpkins, you're going to get split 20% of that Ethereum. There'll also be additional NFT drops and random Ethereum prizes for other pumpkin holders. So don't, you know, get disappointed if you guys don't have the top 20%. Like I said, um, there's going to be lots of other things. We're going to drop random ones. We're going to drop other prizes, other NFTs. So lots of fun stuff planned. I'm already getting super excited for the next couple months. 
And then after Halloween, guys, what about that, right? So they're pumpkins. What are we doing? Um, you know, what happens after Halloween? And so we have plenty of future plans here, guys. Um, with the help of the community, several rare pumpkins are going to be used to create the comic book and animated series. Again, that's going to take a little bit of time, so we're going to start it right away here. But um, that will be afterwards. So working on that is going to be fun stuff. Um, then we have the pumpkin launcher game will be further developed and we'll add more levels and features. We may put it on mobile. So to start, it's just going to be a web app. Um, a lot of cool stuff with that game as well. We got planned and, um, you know, different features that we can add to give you different like speed boosts and power boosts and things like that. So a lot of cool different things that we're planning on and thinking about. Um, we'll see on that. And again, we'll ask the community for suggestions. So after we start playing the games, if you guys have suggestions on how to make the game better, you know, we'll hopefully add some of that stuff in there. So we already have more projects planned and the people that hold the pumpkins are going to basically be... Um, eligible for other nft drops so in addition to all these prizes and everything guys we're going to keep dropping possibly uh, more great stuff in your wallet so uh, lots of good stuff if you hold the pumpkins and then finally as i already mentioned um season two so we're doing it small we want to kind of start with just 666 um, halloween theme and then for next season, we'll hopefully have everything built out. The launch will be better. We'll have the series going. We'll have the comic books. Um, hopefully several of them built out and you know written by that time. And then we're going to make the project even bigger. And for season two, we're going to do, again, you know 10x what we did um, for this first season. And we're going to add you know another um, zero to it. And it's going to be 6,660. So that's basically like a full-size project. Most of the projects releasing right now, uh, NFT projects are around 10,000. It seems to be somewhere in the like uh, five to 10,000 range. So being there at 60, you know, 6,660 will give us, you know, that higher level for, you know, the majority of people that want to get into NFTs. We can have a lower floor value, all that stuff. But again, for season one, we're going to keep it super exclusive. If you're in the BitRush fam or you guys find out about this on Twitter or Discord, you guys will be able to get in on it. But I'm not going to like try to make it super huge right away. Um, we want to make sure we build everything out and get the things working, have a good community. Um, that's more important to me than just having, you know, 6,000 pumpkins right out the gate. So that's why I decided to do that. So yeah, that's basically everything. Um, the timeline. So the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is the timeline on this. Right now, we're, we have planned, like, penciled in October 15th for launch, which gives us two weeks to sell out before Halloween and do all those drops during those two weeks leading up to it. However, if we get the artwork done, um, we're still working on a few things. I'll just show you guys, like, you can see right here behind this one spike, you can kind of still see the stem is just barely peeking out. Um, really hard to see small details like that, but working on all these kind of things, and we're getting them absolutely perfect. So when you guys get your NFT, they look you know immaculate they're going to be used as in-game assets in addition to um, having you know just your regular nft so we want to make sure everything is really great um, and just putting the last final tweaks we've already done several artist renders i've done several sample renders um, they're looking great we're getting a lot of great combos we're adding even more because um, I figured since we're pushing back, you know, the art a little bit, we might as well add a few more layers. So I've had a few more great ideas on different um, traits and things like that that we're adding in here. Um, so I'm super excited about this, but we should be finished with the art by next week. I should have everything finalized in terms of artwork, final generations created. If that's the case, we're going to bump up the launch a little bit because the contract and minting is fairly easy. Um, the game is really, you know, what we're not going to be able to put out till a little bit later. So the game, no matter what, guys, won't be put out probably till, um, you know, right around Halloween there. Um, but everything else we're going to bump up and, you know, get the community excited and get everything going on this a little bit early. So we may push it up to the 8th. Um, I'll see. But again, guys, right now it's tentatively scheduled for the 15th and uh the pre-sale would be 24 hours before that so if you have a skeleton key you would have access to pick up a pumpkin um 24 hours before public i hope you guys are excited about this as i am again make sure you guys come over here and hop in the discord follow us on twitter we got lots of great prizes and giveaways we're doing up to the drop and then after um the mint you know we're going to be doing even more stuff for the people that are holding the pumpkins really great community guys we're going to have um, animated series we're going to have a comic book where you can use your nft in the comic book you're going to be able to use your nft as an in-game asset 
Um, I'm super excited about this. These things look super badass. I'm going to reveal one more guy to you. He's not one of our super rare traits or anything like that. I'm saving those for a little bit closer to launch or possibly even, you know, after reveal. I may not reveal all the traits until afterward. You guys might just be surprised with some of them. But I'm going to show you one more character that we've kind of created to go into the initial comic book series. There he is, guys, the king with the 3D glasses. And again, these are artist renderings, so they're not the final versions. We're tweaking a few things to get everything to look perfect. Um, but this guy's smoking right here. He's got the hypnotized eyes. He's got the 3D glasses and the king's crown. Um, so those are a few more uh, sneak peeks on the joint mouth. Um, the 3D goggles we've already released. Those are the hypnotized eyes and the crown guys. So hope you guys like that reveal. Um, he's a cool little guy here and him and our other little pinky guy there uh, possibly think about making that his name. Um, they're going to be two of the main characters in the comic book. And then I have a couple other things that I've rendered that I think, you know, possibly two or three other characters that we'll use. And maybe they'll die off early if you guys don't like them. And we'll stick to just the, the real NFT ones. But I got a few other ones planned that I think you guys are going to like. So hopefully you like that sneak peek. Again, hopefully you guys are pumped up about the pumpkins. Share this thing on Twitter. Um, get over there, guys. Make sure you guys get access to that contest that we're doing, a giveaway. Um, hop in Discord, say hello. Um, again, if you're an early member in there, the first 666, you're going to get access to a special giveaway that not everyone else will get later on. And again, there'll be a special uh, members only for people who do actually get the pumpkins. So yeah, just super pumped, pumped up for pumpkins. Let's get pumping these pumpkins, guys. Um, thank you again for watching. Smash that thumbs up on the video. Do share it on social media. Let's hype this thing to the moon before launch. Pound that thumbs up. Happy crypto. Let's get these NFTs.